Hello, this is Dreamfall Chapters. It's been out for a while. I wanted to talk about it in context of content creation and game design. Um, it, this isn't a review of Dreamfall Chapters. Uh, if you want the review, the review is it's a really gorgeous adventure game. If you like adventure games, you should go buy it. But I want to talk about content because these guys spent a lot of effort on their content and they got some spectacular modelers they got some good mocap they got some fantastic voice actors and they put it all together into these fantastically detailed worlds with all sorts of Building the new Europe. Because that went well. tons and tons of random little details every day more armored vehicles you think the eye was preparing for war so they've got this really dense gorgeous world for you to explore and that's the point of an adventure game really um, the point of an adventure game is to have something so they can showcase all of their gorgeous art. Who am I visiting? No one. That, that's who I'm visiting. So they created all this content, they stuffed it in the game, they came up with a, some kind of reason for it to exist. And I wanted to just show you some of the work that went into this game. So there's at least two different transparent renderers. See? His mohawk is transparent, and that's a different kind of transparency than some of the other stuff. I would say there's probably maybe eight different shaders in this scene alone, and hundreds of materials in the... maybe not hundreds, but dozens of materials. Uh, I don't know how good their atlasing is, but even if it's good, they still have a lot of materials seen in this scene here. Um, they actually have a special shader for her butt. They have a one-off shader specifically for her ass, and that's probably because they figured you're going to be standing directly behind her 90% of the time. But if you stare at someone else's butt, you can see that it's clearly a different shader. There's no rim lighting on her. And since there's no rim lighting on her, uh, you don't get the um, the freaky, uh, glowy butt that this uh, main character has. And there's a lot of flaws in this game. A lot of the animations are really wonky. Let's watch some people walk up and down the stairs, by which I mean glide up and down the stairs. And, uh, sorry, I'm not sure if they're loud enough to actually talk over me or not, but basically characters pop up and down. There's a lot of pop through on the costumes. There's a lot of flaws here and there, and that's just because this game wasn't... The focus wasn't on polishing the animations. The focus was on polishing the uh, the beauty of the world and the models and that sort of stuff. Some of the shaders collide, I can show you that here. So some fun collisions there. Um, but despite all of the slightly wonky design uh, in their technical side, they have this wonderful materials, the, this wonderful world that they've built. And I wanted to make it clear that you can, in fact, build a world out of nothing but content. Um, in contrast, you can also build a world out of nothing but... Uh, out of very little content. And uh, both sides have their merits, but what I really would like, I want to buy this content. Maybe not all of it. I mean, I understand if the main character here, or all of the named characters perhaps, are too core to your experience. I understand if you I understand if you don't want to sell me this character model because, you know, she's actually your character. I understand that. But the city, I mean, there's so much of the city that could be brought into any game world or anyone's dreams of creating their own game and tell completely different stories. It would take me roughly a decade to build all of this content. Uh, and I understand that I'm not saying that Dreamfall chapters should sell their content. I'm just saying that this sort of content, it would be lovely to buy. Now I can buy content from the asset store, and I frequently do. Some of it is of this quality, but most of it is not. Um, I'm sort of hoping that the Unreal asset store will um, have assets of this quality in it, because it's more focused on the high poly count stuff. But it doesn't really exist yet, so it's just theoretical. Um, their store is just getting started. Someday, if they have a store with this kind of content, you can expect me to start making tutorials on how to use the Unreal Engine. Alternately, if people in Unity would start to develop this kind of content or resell this kind of content, um, you can expect me to make some tutorials on that. Hello, lady with the Coca-Cola shirt. With that said, uh, I just wanted to talk about it briefly and, um, you know, show you the special shader they have dedicated to her butt.
<laughs> I'm sorry, I think that's really hilarious. <laughs>